Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow! Look at that! Hey, welcome to Invisible Labs. Now, this is a little bit different lab than we're used to. This is kind of nice. And that's because we need to be outside because we're going to go big. What we're going to start off here is with an experiment that we like to call elephant toothpaste. The reason it's called elephant toothpaste is elephant have big teeth, so they need big toothpaste. And really, this is just a chemical reaction between hydrogen peroxide, which is what I have right here. Now, this is highly concentrated hydrogen peroxide. But hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. That sounds an awful lot like water, H2O. But it's got an extra oxygen on there. Right now, that's breaking apart, OK? It's making water and oxygen. But it's really slow. And we don't like it when it's slow. We want to speed it up. But before I speed it up, I'm going to add some soap. Because when I add soap, we can really see this reaction take place. Eh, how much? Well, if a little's good, more is better. And what I'm going to use is something to speed it up. In science, something that speeds up or slows down a reaction is called a catalyst. I'm going to dump the catalyst in, and then we're going to make some elephant toothpaste. And we're going to find out if this reaction releases heat. Elephant toothpaste, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, look at that! You see this coming off the top? You can see that heat. That heat is the exothermic reaction. It's hydrogen peroxide breaking into water and into oxygen gas. And what's floating away is the oxygen gas. Isn't that cool? It's all soapy and foamy and wonderful. And that's great. But you know what? Let's go big. We got more hydrogen peroxide. We've got more catalysts. We've got more soap. Let's see what happens. One thing we kind of always joke about in the Invisible Labs is that if little's good, more is better. Not necessarily true, because sometimes things get out of hand and sometimes the ratios are not correct. And sometimes you just never know what's going to happen, which is why you should not try this at home, which is why we're trying it out here in a safe environment with trained professionals. And this hydrogen peroxide is nasty stuff. The last one was elephant toothpaste. This is for like all the elephants because this is going to make a whole lot of toothpaste, which isn't really toothpaste. Sometimes people get confused. Oh, using soap. No, no, no. It's just like, like for fun or just saying toothpaste for fun. So we're going to need a lot of soap. Why the soap? Otherwise, we would just have bubble, bubble, bubble because the oxygen would float off into the air. But because we're adding soap, all that oxygen is going to get trapped in the soap bubbles and make our soapy foam. So bear with me, this is going to take a little bit. I think that's good enough. All we have left now is to swirl this up, get it mixed up pretty evenly, and dump in the catalyst. Right now, that hydrogen peroxide is turning into water and oxygen gas, but it's really slow. So we're going to add the catalyst to speed it up. Here we go. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, really, I don't know what's going to happen. That's what makes this so exciting. And that's why I'm breathing heavy. And that's why, that's why we're doing it. In three, two, one. Here we go. OK, I'm getting out of here. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow! Look at that! Oh my goodness! That's fantastic! It's still going! Okay, and that's when you just say things got a little out of hand. Look at this stuff! Do you see the heat coming off of that? It's fantastic! Ah, it smells good like dish soap. There we go. We just took an, a reaction and sped it up with a catalyst. And now we're releasing all that heat in this exothermic reaction. And we've made this huge pile of elephant toothpaste. Because you know what? That's what we do here in the Invisible Labs. We make a mess, we learn from it, we check it out in thermal, and we move on to the next thing. Oh. Nice! Well, thanks for watching. To see the latest from FLIR, click on subscribe or come on over to the channel and check out all the amazing things that Infrared is showing us.